Is there one without almonds? Hey guys, it's Scrap Diva 29 and I'm here today to share with you a few projects I've been working on all week long. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in because I have several little things to share and I want this video to be quick. So the first thing I want to share are these really cute tags I made using that Lawn Fawn alpaca stamp. Um, I was just playing around and wanted to try it out. I saw Bridget, um, Shoe Princess 1, make some and I wanted to try my own. Um, this one is using um, paper tray ink stamps and it says Hope, hoping your holidays shine. And I thought that was really cute and I did use my Spellbinders dies to uh, create this um, tag. And this one as well. This one, I really like this one. It's really pretty. I used this beautiful shiny uh, green foil paper that I got at Michael's this year. And um, again, put the stamp and stickles and stickles along the edge. I didn't have a border, um, so I just used this, uh, you know, I just cut it out myself. And I think it came out really cute. I really like the trim. And I really like the bow. This is from Michael's. Super cute. Next thing I'd like to share is a small little haul that I did on Black Friday and um, it was at Sizzix.com and I got some dies so I wanted to share. These um, cute dies were really great prices. Um, I think the snowman and the tree die were only like four dollars a piece so I couldn't pass it up and I just thought that snowman was so adorable. And so let me show you what I made with those dies. Um, I made this easel card and I did use my Creative Time um, dies and stamps to create this. And then that's the Sizzix die right there. He's a little snowman on ice skates. I'll scoot that down so you can see. Um, I took some snowflakes that I got at Michael's and put some bling on them and used my dies to create this border background, little pom pom from Michael's. I used some glossy accents right here on the nose and the little um, part right here of the hat. And then I used the Swarovski crystals. I had bought a bunch of them at Tuesday morning in different colors and I just put those on top of the snowflakes and used the red ones for the buttons on the snowman. And then down here I did use some, um, what is this called, diamond dust down here. It looks like, kind of like snow. And it's really pretty. I like the way it came out. I think I'm gonna be sending this to my grandma in Denver. I think she would like this card, so. Um, down here I just added some trim and some lace trim right here and I just popped it up and so that's that card. Super cute. I need to put my stamp on that. Moving along, okay so what I made from the gingerbread um, die are these cute little treat bags and I was inspired by Scrap the World. She made some cocoa um, envelope holder treat bags on her um, little holiday gifts that she was doing a, her little series on her channel and I decided to make some treat bags and I put some Starbucks hot cocoa salted caramel in here. Sorry about that, my phone is ringing. Um, excuse me, I'm off track now. Oh, so I made a little gingerbread and I used burlap paper, some jingle bells right here and just some trim from Michaels and I think these came out really super cute. Um, what I'm doing is I got these boxes from Dollar Tree and I put a little of that little packing paper in there and I've got the hot cocoa, I've got my little gift bags that I've already showed you with the um, chocolate nuggets packaged up and then I've got a pillow box full of treats and then right here I'm going to add my sugar cookie um, that I've decorated and they're drying as we speak. So a sugar cookie will go in there and this is going to make a perfect teacher gift. And let me just show you this cute little box. That's the inside and then this is the outside. How stinking cute is this little box? And it's perfect to give to a teacher. I can put a ribbon on it and say Merry Christmas. So I really like the way this little treat box came out. All right, moving along. Um, I did get these cute little stamps from Michaels. It says rock your sweater and then it has the little sweaters on there and um, I went ahead and stamped some out and I thought these would be really good for um, little tags for the candy for um, for the little nugget candy I was gonna I just thought they would be cute I'm going to an ugly sweater Christmas party and I'm gonna make some of these up for a hostess gift so I just did some of that um, stamped it in red and then put um, gold ink around the edges and they're really cute I hope you guys can see that let me zoom in a little bit better. There we go. 
Anyway, moving along, um, I made this little tree using that Sizzix die, and I thought that would be really cute for an embellishment on a card. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I just wanted to punch it out to see what it looked like. So that's that. And what else do I have to share? Um, I, oh, one last thing is this rosette that I made. And this was inspired by Happy Mail Queen. She had made me one for my birthday. And I used this Brenda Walton, uh, I think it's large medallion uh, Sizzix die. And I made a flower and I think it came out really cute. I did the tool and the rosette with the bling. And then on this side, it looks like this. And um, I used this, um, this trim from Michaels and then that's a paper uh, rosette. And then I put this bling center. Um, I think I got that at Michaels. And then I just added some pearl trim and some ribbon right here for the dangle. And I just thought that was really cute. I really wanted to try to make one of these. And um, this one's pretty big, but um, I think it'd be look, look really cute on somebody's desk, like in a jar. So um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.